my name is Crystal, and today I'll be playing Cakewalk. It's an Atari 2600 game that was made by Comovid. I couldn't find who designed it, but apparently it was um, one of the last video games that Comovid created before the company decided to just quit in the industry. Okay. Got that. So far, it's kind of reminding me of Dino Dash, except with no people other than the chef. It's more like food based. It also reminds me of those games you play as a kid on like Disney Channel or Polly Pocket or Barbie. Well, like they have this cake kind of going past by, and then you just drop icing and decoration on it and all that. Um, yeah. It's kind of cute. And kind of chill, just kind of moving up and down to grab the cakes before they fall off, I presume, from the conveyor belts. I feel like this would have been unique at the time because lots of video games I remember reading were very action based and it wasn't until later on they started getting into like um, strategy based games so I guess this would have been a really nice breather from all the action games coming out I might just oopsies drop okay well <laughs> that works too oh my gosh that's really cute i don't like how it kind of makes me wait for him to clean it up i mean i'm not gonna go down there anyways i wouldn't be in his way if the cakes just keep coming like Oh, what? That takes away your life? Okay. It didn't even do me any damage, though. Like, it didn't hurt me. Okay. Well, I guess it would just be chances, not lights, I guess. Mm. So, I do like that it's like dessert based, like, it's a food game, basically. And it's pretty chill. The controls are easy. You just use the up and down L keys. What the heck is this? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I just shrunk. I don't. I guess that's the only downside to using keyboards. I don't usually play keyboard games that much. I accidentally pressed shift. There we go. Um, so yeah, I, that's what I like about the game. It's a nice breather and it uses two controls on the keyboard. Probably what I don't like is the fact that I'm playing it online only, but I can't really help that at the moment. Ooh, the speeds are changing. Um, oh no. Um, like, I'm okay with the 2D-ness of it because, just because that's how it's made. But I feel like it kind of throws me off on my, like, environment. Like, I automatically just kind of picture that the conveyor belts are just side by side because that makes sense. But then the cake falls and it falls straight down, so it kind of assumes that the conveyor belts are like layered on top of each other vertically. And I don't know, now I just picture him going up and, oopsies, going like flying up and down, and that kind of just throws off my original perception to just rationalize it as side by side, but I'm not really sure that's much of a problem. Hmm. 
Hmm. Invite, I don't invite. Oh, I like the musicalness. I just realized, like, it's really musical. I like it. The mu it's really cute. Hmm. What is this? Is it? Oh, it gives me a light. That's convenient. I don't really like what. I don't really like how like losing a cake takes away a life. Like, cause it doesn't really hurt me. Like, it makes I'm more used to things taking away my life when it actually hurts me, not when it just cause I guess when you lose chances. I guess is that a gingerbread man? Other than that, I can't really find much that I really hate, other than that, I can see it getting tiresome after a few minutes of playing, like, 5 or 6. <laughs> but it's cute, it's a, a nice breed. I just want to see what happens to the gingerbread really quick. Nothing? Okay. Well, that was Cakewalk. I hope you all liked it. I don't know why I full screened in the why I didn't full screen in the first place, but yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. That's it. Bye!